Andrew, two matches gone now in your World Cup preparation. Uh, not just quite the start Ireland wanted, but a, a better second half performance against France and Bordeaux. Yeah, I think uh, whenever we were looking at the the warm up games for the World Cup, we certainly didn't intend to lose the first two. Um, it hasn't gone exactly according to plan so far. Um, but at the minute, you know, there's there's a lot of anxiety in, in our play. There's a lot of guys trying to get their name uh, on the team sheet going to New Zealand and. I think we probably have to take that into account a little bit. Um, it's been tough, you know. Scotland were, were fairly physical. Scott, um, France, you know, just ran us ragged in the first half an hour, and we were chasing our tails. And um, it was it was very difficult to get into both of those games, to be honest. But you know, I think in the second half against France, especially, you know, we showed we're capable of imposing our game on, on any side out there, and and going to Bordeaux and playing France is one of the most difficult fixtures you're going to have to, to play, really. Um, so, yeah, I think we've we've got a lot out of it. We certainly have to take a lot of positives out of the last couple of games, so we're trying to do that. Well, how's training been going at Carton House? Is a lovely venue? It certainly is. Carton House is lovely. Um, uh, it's done... A lot of us have been playing a lot of golf, so it's done our golf look really good, um, getting out most evenings. Um, I think my golf's gone a lot better than my rugby. Um, maybe uh, it's certainly getting a lot more practice anyway. But you know we're training hard. Um, it's going well. The boys, you know, there's there's a few different schedules going on with um, with rotations of squads and so on. So you get to spend a bit of time with with a lot of different members in the squad and so on. So it's good, and you're up and down the road a little bit. Get home at night every now and again. So it's quite a good balance. I think it's I think it's the right balance, and I think it's the the, the right balance going forward um, with the World Cup in mind. Um, so yeah, everybody's really excited and, and we're looking forward to, to getting stuck in it. Well, I'm sure you're hoping to be on that plane to New Zealand uh, when the World Cup starts. You're looking at your opposition, uh, Australia and New Zealand in particular, are looking very strong in the Tri-Nations. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it never really comes as, as a surprise whenever Australia and New Zealand are playing well and New Zealand tend to always play well just before a World Cup and if that goes <laughs> the way it usually does. Um, you know, they tend to have a disappointing World Cup campaign, but um, uh, we'll certainly not be, be, you know, waiting on that. But um, you know, th these these sides, England, France, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, are always going to be quality. If you sort of look at them, you get a little bit carried away. But you know, I think it's just important we look at our performance and our preparation and the way we're playing and the sort of phases that we're putting together in games. We're showing glimpses at the minute that we're we're capable of of dealing with these sides. But um, we certainly need to ramp it up another level um, to be able to compete for eighty minutes with, with a side like Australia. Declan's well known for taking one game at a time, and uh, obviously the, the game against Australia in the pool matches will be a massive game for Ireland. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, we got USA first, uh, and then Australia after that. So, you know, it's it comes up fairly quickly, and you know, the last four weeks have gone quick. So the next four weeks are going to go fairly quick as well. And uh, I think you know a lot of us as individuals are just looking forward to to next Monday to hopefully being picked uh, in the squad, and then after that, once we get a lot of that individual sort of goals and. You know, anxiety out of the way. Then we can come together as a group and say, All right, let's go. Let's let's go to this World Cup and let's make it count." And um, you know, it's going to be difficult. We've got a bit massive, massive task ahead of us. But um, you know, to be honest, even before we get to New Zealand, we've got two massive tasks in France this weekend and England the next weekend. So it's going to be tough no matter what. But uh, it's important that we start putting um, little snippets of our performance together and, and making an 80-minute performance because um, nothing less than 80 minutes is going to be good enough to beat France, England, USA or Australia. Looking forward to the domestic season with Ulster. Um, a few new signings coming in again this year. Uh, strength and squad, you, you'll be looking forward to that? Certainly will. Um, the way we're going at the minute, you know, the way we finished off last season, we finished off quite strong. Um, we achieved a lot of the goals we set out at the start of the season and um, I haven't been involved much um, up in Ulster, but um, I'd imagine we'd be setting similar goals and probably just trying to push ourselves a little bit more to achieve a bit more and just not let last year be a flash in the pan. We want to just build on that and you know and move on and we want um, qualification for quarterfinals and Heineken Cup not to be a one-off. We want that to be the norm. We want that to be 
the way we're competing every single year and we've um we've recruited well we've got Jared Payne and um, John Ford coming to help us out as well and I think it's really exciting to be a part of a, a squad like this moving forward and um, certainly I'm you know obviously at, at the minute I'm just looking forward to hopefully um, playing this weekend and then hopefully getting selected for the World Cup and hopefully doing well so I've kind of got a lot to think about apart from that at the minute but once that's all done you know I absolutely love playing for Ulster and I love getting back in a white shirt after being away for a while and seeing the boys again and there's a great buzz and um, certainly I'll miss that whenever um, if, if I get the chance to go away um, but uh, I look forward to getting my teeth into it at some stage. Andrew it's a big few months ahead of you enjoy it and uh, I hope you stay fit and come back strong for Ulster. Thanks Peter.